Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Ass Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for October 22. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. As always, there's links to the ass in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, right now there's two bundles with huge discounts. There's a Unity Mega Bundle with 30 tools. I would say this one is worth it just for the asset inventory alone. It helps you search for anything in all the assets that you own, so this one has been super useful to me to find some props and objects for my Steam game. And there's also a Humble Bundle with tons of realistic environments. They are all super high quality photogrammetry assets, so if you feel like a realistic art style, definitely give it a look. Alright, so starting off with an interesting one, the Survival Engine Online. As you might know, Netcode for Game Objects was fully released just a while ago. I made a super detailed video tutorial covering tons of things about it. In there, there were a bunch of comments asking me to make a course or some game samples to learn how it all works. I'm still trying to organize my schedule to see if I can build such a thing. But in the meantime, here you have a very complex sample. It's based on the Survival Engine, which is an asset that has existed on the store for a long time. Features chopping down wood, placing some buildings, farming, cooking, hunting, crafting, and a bunch more. Again, all of it in multiplayer using Netcode for Game Objects. So if you want to see a complete sample for how those mechanics can be built, or if you just want to make a multiplayer survival game, then check this one out. Next up, if you want your game to look gorgeous, then one easy way to do that is adding some nice weather. Changing the skybox really is one of the best, easiest changes you can do to make your game look much, much better. This one includes not just the skybox, but an entire weather system. Features quite a lot of variety, so you have everything from sunny days to some intense storms, you have some dense fog and some nice autumn scene. Works in URP and looks really nice. Then here's a really awesome tool called Colorize. It lets you easily change colors on materials by modifying the color palette. This one is obviously perfect for meshes with solid colors, so everything like low poly assets, which is a style that I very much like to use. The main thing that I like is how apparently it lets you place down some colors with a mission. So it looks like you can very easily make certain body parts glow. That feature alone looks super useful. And also you can generate entire color palettes and swap them out easily. So if you use low poly assets in your game, then this tool can definitely be very useful. If you'd like to show a web page in your game, look at this one. Seems to be a very complete package. It runs JavaScript, supports HTTPS, supports OAuth, payment methods, and tons more. The size is customizable, it can even play videos, and also supports uploading photos directly from the camera. So if your game has any content on a browser, like for example you have a Steam Workshop or some forums, then for that a tool like this one can be much easier than building it all from scratch natively with Unity UI. If you want to build some voxel worlds, look at this one. Importantly, this is an in-game level editor, so it works while the game is running. This kind of thing is excellent for letting your players mod the game, they can build their own levels, objects or anything and easily share them between them. And it's not just levels, it's not just dump blocks. You can place some blocks with lights and even add some behavior to allow you to open closed doors or any other thing. Very useful if your game is voxel based. Next is a nice and simple tool. Usually objects don't render on the inside. If you want that to happen then the simple solution is to make the rendering double sided. But if for some reason you don't want to do that, maybe you can't modify the material or it would change way too many things, then with this tool you can just add a little bit of geometry to be able to see inside. It's simple and does exactly what you expect. Then if you have tons of 3D objects and you want to easily position them, look at this tool. Features lots of parameters to position all the objects exactly as you want them. There are plenty of layout types, you can place things in a grid, you can place them along a spiral, along a curve, randomly and more. Also includes animated components so your objects move into place in a really nice, really satisfying way. This looks quite useful for easily positioning objects dynamically. Next, if your game features bugs, then maybe look at this controller. The obvious thing is the leg IK system, so as the ant moves forward, the legs move forward with it. All you really need to do is just move the main transform and everything else will look good. Features lots of settings to play around with, you can easily swap out the legs, so it's a very niche tool, but if you're making a bug game, then I can see this being quite useful. Then if you'd like to make a parkour game, here is a parkour player controller. Supports jumping, crouching and wall running. You can go around curved surfaces, you can move up while wall running. Also has ledge climbing and moving platforms. So it's pretty nice if you'd like to make a parkour or ninja game. If your game is 2D and you need some interesting shadows, look at this one. The main thing is they are extremely adaptable. You can make them completely solid or fade out over the distance. 
You can rotate the sun in the sky, also includes a water shader, a wind shader, and some sprite room lighting. Definitely a great way to add that extra bit of polish to your 2D game. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity S Store for October 22. There's a link to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And also check out my own free and paid ads on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.